Corporal Jesse Thorson. Did you see him? Yes. Hello, Ron Paul. Oh, this all looked like it was in good fun, didn't it? But he could mm -hmm. be in some serious trouble for taking to the mic at Ron Paul's post-caucus rally in Iowa. The Army says it's now investigating whether this corporal violated military policy by speaking at the rally. According to the Department of Defense, and I will quote, service members cannot attend political rallies while in uniform and they can't speak before a political gathering to promote a candidate. So what's going to happen to Corporal Thorson now? We got a couple thousand. We got a lot, a lot of soldiers coming back from Iraq, uh, veterans. And as we move on with our country, growth and healing, you better believe they're going to have some opinions. So when you talk about, when you think about this, first of all, for all of your viewers, whether they understand the military codes or not, uh, you have to realize that these soldiers, these veterans, fought to protect the Constitution. And when mm -hmm. they come back home, they're civilians or the military, the, the Constitution still protects them. I can wear this uniform because I'm a civilian. I'm proud of my service, my entire service. So my entire uniform is what you see, and I'm, I'm very proud of that. So when we talk about moral issues, don't ask, don't tell, or uh, drones, or endless war, uh, Bradley Manning, or any sort of issues that really do affect our national dialogue, I think veterans should stand up and be very proud of their well, service and okay. talk about it. Do, do they know their rights? And I'm not going to suggest for a minute you know everyone's training, but for Corporal Thorson, he looked like he was having a good time and may have done this somewhat innocently. I'm not going to suggest there's mens rea here, but um, do, do service members typically get briefed on what they're allowed to do and what they're not allowed to do when in uniform or when on active duty? Yes, they do. And that's the major distinction. When you do something like this and you believe that it's a moral cause that you're speaking for, then you should be ready for the consequences. I spoke up and I said that I'm gay. I said the truth. Uh, I learned that in the code that uh, I will never compromise my integrity. Or and you're talking about the Uniform Code of Military Justice, right? We're talking well, about the same a, thing that applies to him or not? Certainly. There's uh, regulations. You put them up there and they do apply to him. But when you talk about uh, when we do anything, uh, when we serve in the military, when we raise our right hand to serve, we are prepared for all the consequences. We're responsible for all of our actions.